Hey, Orange One here with Dominic Clark and Michael Hill. Uh, we, in the last episode, were... Actually, just give me a second. I forgot to change my sound system over. There we go. All right. So, yeah, in the last episode, we were looking for <clears throat> a jackhammer. But we were having kind of a hard time finding it. It's a bike shop, which I kind of want to check out. But right now, we got to get over to that hardware shop. I think it's the last one in this city. Actually, let's get the shocker brute first. Oh, we just ran out of music. Okay. Let's go ahead and butcher this. We already have a lot of those CBMs. But we'll grab them. Oh, we got a shocker. Okay, I didn't even see that. That's fine. Again, that's why you ha bring an NPC with you. They can watch your back. You know what? I'm gonna stop wielding this. We'll take these guys on using melee. Actually, can I get a drink of something first? Over sealed water. I think that uh, Michael's gonna take out that fiend that's just up above us any second now. There we go. It'd be nice to get Michael um, a melee weapon, but I don't think that he's going to really be able to use it. Um, seeing how he's not going to really be able to carry much besides that bat that he's got. Those leather pants are pretty wrecked right now. That's fine. I'm not too stressed out about it. There's some duct tape. Ooh, there's bandages. I want that. Um, let's see. Let's do the torso. Get the torso up a little bit. And it looks like we're actually starting to run out of, uh, space for CBMs. I'm gonna grab those because you don't really need that. Let's go to the power storage CBM. Okay, come on. I really need a jackhammer. No, we don't really want that. Huh, there's quite a few zombies there. Oh, they're just children. <gasps> is that what I think it is? Hedge trimmer. I think that's got what I need. Yes! Oh man. I've never been so happy in my life to see a hedge trimmer. I know the game doesn't crash too much, but I'm just going to save really quick, just in case. I've just had... I've just gotten burned a couple times <clears throat> with that point where I'm not going to mess around. Alright, let's grab her. Can I take them out? I think I can. There we go. Okay. Okay. 
as you've probably noticed. We're getting pretty good at that un unarmed combat. I've kind of stopped worrying. About unarmed with just regular zombies. It has to be something kind of dangerous to give me a cause for alarm. Smash these up. Okay, we're slowly leveling up the uh, unarmed. I'm kind of curious to see what's in the back of this truck. Let's see. What is that? It's just a jerry can. Uh, it's not really worth it. That hedge trimmer though. And a lawnmower. It's actually got a couple things and small engines in it. Uh oh. We're gonna need to carry it with us. That's a bummer. Um, the hedge trimmer is a lot lighter. Kind of makes sense. Kind of want to also do some looting um, of some of these buildings, but we should make our way back to the uh, the mobile base and get what we need to break into these. Uh, Banks and then military bunkers as well. Oh, there's a flu shot. Let's grab that. That, I believe, boosts your healthiness. Something like that. Let's check this out though. Sometimes there can be really good stuff in these stores. Doesn't look like that is the case though. I've heard, I've never actually seen it myself, but I've heard of people finding, um, whatchamacallit, finding like laser weapons in some antique stores. I kind of also want to check some cars for to see if they've got these a jumper cable in it. So I'm sure that in in all the cars in the city, there's probably one, at least one. Let's have some more junk food, bring our morale up a little bit. Seeing how we came and listened to music, we might as well enjoy something. The RV, um, what is that right there? Chimes. <laughs> That's funny. I'm not see I don't think I've seen chimes chives chimes on a vehicle just like that before. <clears throat> oh we got some got some nasty zombies it looks like right here. Actually can I dump some of this stuff in there? Yeah I can. Okay.
Yeah, that shocker has seen me. Okay. I'm gonna let go of my cart. And get it all the way over here. There we go. And we'll butcher that corpse. Uh, not super impressed by that. There's an ambulance there which would have some medical supplies. I think we're okay for now. Let's grab the cart and I'm just gonna poke my head around the corner here. Yeah, there are a ton of zombies right there. I suspect there would be because we haven't gone through here yet. Um. You know, I'm gonna leave them for now. I kinda wanna just get the, um... Get those banks open. And let's just see what's right here. Flashlight, not interested. And let's see what else is here. Just matchbook and tortillas. Okay. Um. Yeah, we'll keep on going west for now. I believe that we cleared this area out, but I'll just go a little bit slower just to be sure. Yeah, I don't see anything. It's gonna have jumper cables. It's a bummer. But we have what we need, I'm pretty sure, for a... Actually, maybe we should kill that acidic zombie. Did I leave the hedge trimmer? I think I did. Well, let's go get that hedge trimmer. Where did I leave that? I think it was down here, wasn't it? Oh man, where did I leave it? I don't have it on me, do I? No. Let's take these zombies out first. And then we'll find it. Okay. Um... I don't see it around here. So I actually just checked uh, our footage and it looks like we left um, the head trimmer down by that jewelry store so we'll make our way back down to the jewelry store. That's the one good thing about recording these episodes, is that I myself can see where I left stuff. Well, one of the many good things. Oh man, there's a, quite a few zombies coming my way. Well, let's be a little bit more careful with our bolts then. We'll keep aiming. I think if we take out this hollow, we can take out the others with melee. Okay. Should be fine with the rest of them. And 
that zombie soldier we're not really gonna be able to damage very much. But we can knock it back. These other zombies shouldn't be too much of an issue. There are quite a few of them. I think we're okay. As long as we don't let ourselves get too over we're on. This is again where it's really nice to have an NPC that's uh, got power armor. We can just kind of kite the uh, zombies onto him. And then the ones that uh, don't go for him. We can just take out. Okay, our quiver's taking a couple hits, which is a bummer. We're actually fine. From the west I hear brains. <laughs> I don't think I've seen that before. I didn't know the zombies could actually make sound. Let's keep our distance from that acidic zombie. I don't want to mess with that. Seeing how we're already kind of hurting from other acidic zombies. get our bull driver back out and we'll actually take these six zombies out doesn't have any shots in it. I'm gonna eat some of this candy, get our morale up, and smash some corpses. Why don't we, um, where was that acidic one? Yeah, let's just butcher that while we're at it. quite a few zombies. I wasn't actually expecting that many of them right there, but it looks like they kind of wandered around. Um, so we should smash them while we can. And that looks like we're good. Alright, let's go get that hedge trimmer and stop running. dogs can be a real pain. We'll go get our bolts. They're just so hard to hit, you know? Even with like a chance of getting a headshot, I like hit, I miss them like half the time. I know I could probably loot some of these buildings, but I'm just not going to bother. Oh, we didn't actually smash these guys. Why don't we go ahead and do that? We got a feral runner. That's kind of funny, they look like they're moving super fast in their animation. 
Not fast enough by the looks of it. Okay. Let's get back to the car. We've got our cart actually around here somewhere. Oh, huh. I can carry the hedge trimmer on me as long as I'm wielding my rifle. Why don't we do that for now then? We'll just get some uh, practice with the rifle. Yeah, we're good. It actually looks like it's almost uh, bedtime. Okay, it's good to be back at the mobile death death mobile. So let's transfer that all over. Move that a little bit back. And um let's see. The hedge trimmer. Oh, I need a soldering iron. Are you kidding me? Ugh. Um, could make a soldering iron. I'm gonna need to do that. Where was that, uh, it's like a, <clears throat> something with a hot plate in it. The coffee maker. I'm right on it. Okay. Coffee maker. No. <laughs> uh. That I also need a soldering iron to disassemble. Man. Let's go to our tools. No, there's nothing I could disassemble without. You know, what I could do is maybe, I don't know if I have enough copper wire for, for this, but can I make a heating element? No, I'm going to need a soldering iron for that. Well, if we go to this house, there should be some something with a heating element in it. Let's get our toolbox. We'll dump this stuff in there. Actually, can I get a UPS? I'll get a UPS and a toolbox. Can I wear... Let's wear a backpack. Get the toolbox. Let's go get a heating element. <laughs> I know that I haven't disassembled this because I didn't think I would need a heating element. But whatever, we got one. And we should be able to make that soldering iron, which means we should be able to do some crafting. Soldering iron. Actually, I'd like to not use my X-Acto knife. Can I make an antenna? I know it seems a little bit insane, but I don't want to use that X-Acto knife because that may be useful for disassembling CBMs. Let's get this metal. And actually, before we do anything, let's eat something. 
Maybe some cookies. And then let's make ourselves an antenna. Of our scrap metals. Let's do a soldering iron. And then, what was it that I wanted to do? I wanted to disassemble something. Do I have batteries in here? I do. I'm going to use the batteries. Um, I think I put it down here, didn't I? Yeah. Edge trimmer. Disassemble that, please. We'll take everything that's below us and we'll move it over here. And let's see, can I make another jackhammer? I need more chunks of steel. Um, no, I need to go get some chunks of steel or some rebarb. Well, let's go get some more chunks of steel, because I know that there's some busted up vehicles around here somewhere. There we go. Tons of steel. More than enough. Right, let's go ahead and go back to the car. I swear it's uh it's gonna go to night pretty soon. But we've had a pretty good haul. Um, let's do a jackhammer. And we're gonna need to actually turn the light on, huh? Okay, we've got a jackhammer. Uh, I thought I had gasoline in here, no? Yeah, I do. I'm gonna actually, I think I'm gonna use that tomorrow. But for now, we should just kind of take care of food. Let's make ourselves a vegetable pie. We'll eat that. It'll be good to have some actual healthy food. Why don't we make ourselves some water as well? Okay, um, is there any reading that we could do? Um, could read about trapping maybe, or computers. Why don't we read about computers a little bit until like midnight? I'll dump that back down. And why don't we go to sleep for now? We'll set ourselves an eight eight hour alarm. Yeah, that sounds good to me. Oh, we got something outside. Let's go get them. That's the one thing about the APC is that to get outside you gotta go all the way to the back of the vehicle. I'm considering putting in uh, some sort of uh, door right by the driver's seat. That might be useful. 
So if we want to get in there, we're also going to need our stethoscope. Don't tell me that we don't have our stethoscope. We don't have a stethoscope, it looks like. Seriously? God, that's annoying. Um, any vehicles or any places that might have a stethoscope? The one thing is, is that we don't need a stethoscope to uh, get the um, military bunkers, so we might just go do that. Oh, that's such. That's so lame. I can't believe I did that. Mortuary might have a stethoscope in it. We didn't check. I don't think it will. You know what? I'm gonna just uh, drive in there, go to these banks, and see what we can get on the counters, and maybe check the mortuary for a stethoscope. Actually, no. Before we do that, what am I doing? Let's fold that up and put that in the in the car. And then we'll go ahead and do that. We'll get going a little faster because this road's pretty clear for a good distance. Okay. We seem to be in the clear. I'll dump the uh, things that we don't really need on us right now in there. Why don't we kill these zombies? We'll get also into the uh, bank. I guess I must have left that zombie lord. I think I'm going to call this an episode and uh, see what's in these banks in the next one. Let's just check the time. No, maybe not. Let's clear out these zombies first. I'd like to just get in there and see what we've got for in here. Should also just get the zombie lord wherever they are. It looks like a lot of these zombies that fell, that, that died in that wreckage are getting back up. Hmm. 
maybe more of a pain than I was expecting to get into the uh, into the bank. And it looks like that mortuary is completely busted up. That sound effect, that was graphic. That iBot needs to needs to go down as well. Those fungal zombies are kind of annoying as well, but that iBot could bring in a real powerful enemy. Something's getting smashed up there. Could be nothing. Yeah, it's not really anything to cause concern. Let's see, what can we... How can we get to this safe? It's the best way. First of all, I'll get the safes right here. And then the best way to the safe is probably this corner. Actually, it looks like that hallway is in intact, so we may be able to uh, get near to the door, which I know is a guaranteed easy way in if you just take out. Actually, no, we're going to have to take out some of the metal anyways. Alright, let's just take out the wall outside. Let's just do the this work the old-fashioned way. Um... I do think that this has been kind of a long session, so we'll actually start that up with the next episode.